guys, thank you so much for joining me in another video. So as you can tell, based on the title, I have a few items that I want to show you guys. Items that have been on my wish list. One item in particular that has been on my wish list all year. Finally got this checked off. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first item was something I had mentioned on my last wish list. It's something I've known that I've needed for some time actually. And I'm talking about getting a pair of eyeglasses. I'm somebody that doesn't need glasses all the time, but I've noticed that seeing further distances, I don't need it for reading or anything. It's just to see like very far distances. I've noticed I have needed them more recently. So I had to book an appointment and it was actually very difficult. Most places in December, they're all booked up. I don't know if people just want to take advantage of like their insurance end of year or something like that or several places like the optometrist or optician or the eye doctor probably just like took some vacation time. It was very hard to find a place. And if I'm gonna be honest, the place that I went to, it wasn't like the first place I thought of for me to get a pair of glasses. If anything, I thought I would go vintage like I was looking to potentially get a pair of vintage glasses. I had booked my appointment and I saw these glasses and they were kind of like in the very bottom shelf. It was kind of the exact vibe I wanted and I could just get it here and it just kind of all worked out. Talking about these. So these are my glasses. They're like this own company's brand. There's no branding whatsoever. Like they're not luxury designer glasses or anything like that. This was kind of exactly the look I wanted to go for. This pair really complemented my facial features. I was looking at a lot of glasses. I tried on almost like half the glasses in the store. And like the vibe that I really wanted to go for with these was, you know, in the movie, The Devil Wears Prada, Giselle, her like character has glasses semi-similar to this. I was looking at a lot of pictures from that kind of era in fashion. This sort of style was very much in whenever that movie came out. And I'll throw up some other images of what I'm talking about, but this was kind of exactly what I wanted. I didn't have to go on like a whole vintage find. My insurance covered everything so that was like a huge win. They were not terribly expensive. Yeah. Same category, something a totally different style but I kind of wanted these in general. So after I had made my Phoebe Philo order, there were two items I was looking at. This was one of them. The other one I just had to say, it's been very spendy these past recent months. This was an item I was able to pick up. It's unfortunately sold out now, but I hope for like the third drop, they bring this back. And so this came from Phoebe Philo. So you can probably get an idea of what this is. So they're a pair of sunglasses. So this is a bit of a different case than like the first pair I got. It's a little bit bigger. It's got one of these kinds of cases like a microfiber lining, but these are them. These are the Bombay sunglasses. So these are them and they are very, sorry, like the light is like totally ruining this. They're really giving me like ski slopes, vibes. David honestly hates these. Like he does not like these at all. If I'm going to be honest, I don't think he likes a lot of Phoebe Philo in general. I think it's um, a very man repelling brand. Just for comparison's sake, these are the peak sunglasses. Just for comparison's sake, these are the peak sunglasses and these are the Bombay sunglasses. Overall, like more like man repelling kind of like I feel like I just want to wear a big, huge, massive coat and put these on and just go about my day. If anything, I think he gets very confused at some of the things I like. I don't think he gets it, but I love them anyways. So yeah, that's what I picked up from Phoebe Philo. And then this next gift, not really related to my channel, but I thought I'd show you guys anyways, just because I think she's such a good follow on Instagram if you don't follow her already, but maybe you already do. So this is a book by Athena Calderone. And if you don't follow her, her Instagram is I Swoon. She's an interior designer. She just is such a source of inspiration when it comes to beautiful homes. And so yeah, this is her. She's just such an inspiration for beautiful homes. Also just fashion in general. I feel like she's always like wearing dresses from Kate. And I don't know, she just has... Like that's her family. But yeah, it's just like a book on like interior design. And then the final item I want to show you guys is an item that was on my wish list since the beginning of this year. It wasn't in the exact combination I wanted, but I almost think this is better for my wardrobe. Still would love to get this item one day, don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't available in the exact combination that I wanted. What was on my initial wish list was a Max Mara chocolate brown, very dark chocolate. What I wanted was like almost like a dark, 
cool, almost like espresso bean brown coat, not like a milk chocolate. Now Max Mara, they did come out with a 100% cashmere coat. It wasn't as deep of a chocolatey brown as I wanted. They had other coats, but they weren't 100% cashmere. I just really wanted the cashmere. That's just kind of what my heart was set on. It's more expensive, but to me, it's like one of these things where I'm willing to splurge on that. But yeah, they just did not have the exact combination I'd wanted, but they did come out with like a, a chocolatey brown coat and it was called the Jabba, Jabba, I don't remember the exact name, but it was more like a chocolate brown rather than like a dark chocolate coat. I know that's probably not like a huge difference, but it wasn't like the exact combination, nor was it the exact silhouette. Like it was hooded and it was kind of giving me Obi-Wan Kenobi vibes, which wasn't really what I was looking for with the hood. Like I think if you style it in a way, it won't look like that, but I don't know. It just wasn't my ideal coat. And while Max Mara did not come out with the coat I was hoping for this year, they always have a lot of beautiful coats. So I was, I'm getting a 100% cashmere coat. That is just what is on my wish list. Maybe next year I can get a chocolate brown one, but I had really wanted a 100% cashmere coat. So I got this coat. I told David this was like the number one thing that I really wanted this year. So this is the coat and this was from the Essence sale. It's like a three quarter length coat. It's really beautiful, 100% cashmere. It's more of like a taupe. It's not quite a gray. This is like a Max Mara coat. And just for comparison, I brought out my camel coat. So this is like the camel color. And then this is, this is in the color, it's actually called Turtle Dove. It is just absolutely beautiful, made in Italy. Kind of the exact tailoring like details I'd wanted, the lapels I wanted, the fit, the cut is just kind of perfect. Like the detailing with Max Mara coats are just, at the end of the day, they're just like my favorite coat. I wear them all the time. It's also just really hard to find like a really good 100% cashmere coat that isn't five figures nowadays. You're spending almost 8,000 for a lot of these brands. Now this was in the Essence sale. And I honestly remember this coat from the last year Essence sale. That's why the price was kind of okay. I do feel like Max Mara had like a major price increase this year. A lot of brands have been doing crazy price increases, but I think Max Mara, they also did have one as well. But yeah, I picked this up in essence they had something like four sizes left and when there was like one to t2 i was like okay this is probably the best price to get it at i think the turtle dive is such a beautiful color and i also think and what i honestly love about this is how well it goes with my celine triumph in the pebble color i just think i don't know it's just kind of like a beautiful combination when i got this bag i felt like every time i tried to pair it with this it wasn't like my favorite in the camel this is very like monochromatic with this kind of like taupey gray. I just think it looks, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so in love with this combination. Definitely a bag I love to wear in the winter. So I'm just so excited for this combination. While Max Mara coats, they are very expensive, especially like the cashmere ones. Wait for the sales because this was from last year. Like the pricing was good. And then it had the essence sale price. It was expensive, but it wasn't as expensive as it could have been. So this is the sizing. Um, in case you were wondering, the composition, um, 100% cashmere and just in terms of sizing i was going to potentially get this coat on the pre-love market i was potentially looking at pre-loved options and i i'm not ruling that out entirely but i find it's very difficult especially on a place like vestiaire just like international because i find you know italian sizing french sizing I don't know, German sizing, like everywhere in like Europe alone is like so different. US sizing, even going on different sites like Essence to like My Teresa, which is like a German site, to I don't know, Matches, which is a UK site, to I don't know, like American outlets. Depending on where you're buying, just be also mindful of that. That's, that is my video. Thank you so much for joining me in another one, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.